Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be feeding our crested geckos. But first, I'll show you how I make the crested gecko diet. tank that we're going to be feeding off tonight is actually our big tank. Now we did a uh, tour on this tank not too long ago and there are seven crested geckos in here. Now anytime you have seven crested geckos in a tank it's very important to provide ample food. So what we do, oh there you go Jesse. <laughs> so what we do is we provide one full bowl right in here. So one full bowl and then right next to it, I put another full bowl. So they have two full bowls of food. Now, feeding schedule wise with these guys, um, if the food bowls are empty, I fill them up. If they don't touch the food bowl overnight, I still refill it. Anytime you have this many geckos in one tank cohabitating together, it's very important to provide ample resources and ample food. So that's what I do and I try my best to do it. now. The only thing that we are missing right now is I usually provide bugs on tap right here, so let's go fill that up real quick. Okay, we got the roaches, so now let's put them in. One goes there, and then this other one I have to tuck back behind here and it fits snugly so uh, now with this tank I feed like I said nightly if this is ever empty I refill it as soon as those are empty I refill them they're usually empty every night so I refill them every night um, now one big thing if you do a tank like this and you have all these females in here to a male you need to take their weights and you need to take their weights quite often so I weigh these guys just about weekly, if not every two weeks, and I monitor them a lot, and I listen for sounds and things like that. So it's very, very, very important that if you ever want to do something like this, you need to be very involved with the animals. So since Glory is another juvenile herself, uh, she's on the same feeding schedule as Shawshank. 48 hours, if it's gone, take it out for a night. If it's gone by morning, replace it, repeat until they don't finish it. Now in here we have a breeding pair of uh, Dalmatian crested geckos. Now what I give them is uh, one food bowl that's about, I don't know, quarter full. And I'll put it up in this right corner. Now I fed them last night and it was empty this morning. So what I'm doing tonight is I'm actually refilling it. Like I said in previous uh, clips, it's more important for me to waste food than to uh, not know if my geckos are eating or to just let it sit and then remain on one feeding schedule because I'm worried that they're not eating. So I'd rather waste the Pangea Crested Gecko diet than have too much and have starving geckos. Here's a trio and we did a tank tour on it so if you want to know the uh, inhabitants of this you can check out that video but for them I do the same thing one food bowl uh, if it's empty in the morning I will refill it that night now with these guys believe it or not that I have refilled this food bowl after every night probably I'd say 14 out of the past 15 days one night I put in two food bowls and they didn't touch the second one Next, we have another trio in here. We did do a tank tour on these guys, so if you want to check that out, that's also a video we did. And I put their food bowl right here. Same thing with them. One food bowl, they usually clean it every night. 
two food bowls, they don't touch it. This is just a, a feeding schedule that I found that works for me in my time frame, and it also works for my geckos. So that's probably the most important thing that I'd recommend for you guys is to find something that works for you and works for your uh, crested gecko. And here is Mr. Butterworth, who we did an unboxing video on. Uh, I usually put his food, hmm, I'm gonna put it, hmm, put it up here by the pothos. He's usually going to eat a little bit of that and then I'll replace it, not tomorrow night, but the next night. And then he maintains his weight off of that. So, okay, so for me, it's very important that there's not just a set feeding schedule for all your crested geckos. I like to do a feeding schedule almost per crested gecko. Um, I kind of do one like per trio, per big tank, you know, so on and so forth. But I have different feeding schedules for every tank, it, it almost seems like, because I know the geckos, I know what they eat, I know when they eat, and I know what they should weigh, and I know how they're growing. So part of this is just really being involved and really being passionate about your geckos to understand them and how they're going to behave. Because once we understand that, then we're able to better um, care for them. Now, in this tank, we house a trio of gargoyle geckos. Uh, you're probably not going to see the other two, but Miley's always sleeping in her favorite little spot. So what I do for these guys is I do two food bowls. I put one down low, just in case they're down there and they come across it. And then the other one I place right back here on this ledge. Now, usually what will happen here is this food bowl right here will be... Uh, it's about a 50-50 shot of it being touched, really. That food bowl back there, usually about 100% of the time is empty by morning. And then if you look in that back corner, I provide roaches. That's how I feed our trio of gargoyles. So the last uh, two geckos that we'll be feeding tonight are our two Lichianus geckos. Now, this is our female, this is Lori, and in her tank, she's about due for an upgrade, honestly. Um, it, it's kind of close, but uh, if you guys watch my Lichianus unboxing video, I kind of explain like why we take care of them in these boxes, and I could even make a, um, a care video on its own of that. Uh, if you guys would like that, comment down below. Um, but what I'm gonna do is actually feed Lori, our lychee, and I'll put that there. So this is our male lychianus right here. I don't know if you can see him or not. That's him. Uh, his name is Barcheck, and, you know, Lori and Barcheck. I don't know if you guys watch Brian Barcheck, but you should. Um, I give him, you know, same thing about as what I give Lori. Um, I put it in there like that. Now for him, he's a little bit smaller than uh, Lori is right now, which is no problem. Um, he's getting on on track and he's definitely eating good. All right guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like, uh, comment, anything you have to say about these guys and I'll heart it, like it, and I'll give you a reply, I promise. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you like the content and if there's anything you guys wanna see, let me know. I'll make videos on whatever you guys wanna see. So until then, stay safe, stay positive, and I'll see you on the next one.